All right, so we're gonna use the Perry Eye landing page as an example. So in the documentation page right now, there's nothing, it's 404, and we're just gonna prompt it directly. I'm gonna say, I'm new to this Next.js code base. I wanna create a new documentation page. How can I do that? And we're gonna use code base context here because we want to have the knowledge of the best practices we're already using the code base and the other files and the context. So it's, it says to create a new directory in the app folder called documentation and make a file inside, inside called page.tsx. So we're gonna do that. And then it says to use this basic structure to start off with. And you see there, there's a button called apply and it just applies the code directly into the file. And then it says to create a new component into this components folder. So we're gonna go find it and create a new file called documentation.tsx. So this is gonna be the, the actual component. And we're just gonna prompt it directly by using command I, which is inline code generation. And we're gonna to say to you know use that previous file, but also uh, create the actual UI for it by having some buttons on the left side and the text on the right side. And then it generates it. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this finish and press command shift enter to accept the changes. And let's go see. Okay, so it's there's nothing here. Uh, I, I've missed the actual component in the previous file. So I'm just gonna bring this to the chat panel again with command plus L and set to import it. And I'm gonna click apply here again and it knows exactly which line to change or to add or delete. And now I'm gonna save it and there we have it. Uh, you know, amazing, the basic structure, but it, it still doesn't look the best, right? Let's ask it to make this look better. And that's literally what I'm gonna ask and I'm gonna wait for this to finish generating. And again, I'm gonna click the, the apply button. We don't have to write a single line of code and uh, it's also going to show you the diffs, right? So you can, you know, really choose uh, what you want to keep and see the differences. I'm just gonna press Command Shift Enter to accept everything and save it here. And let's go back. There you go, wow, this is so much better, right? So much better. And there we have it. We have a great foundation to start our documentation page without writing a single line of code, without having to know much about Next.js, React, or this code base. Amazing.